Kia ora and welcome to Wake Up New Zealand. I'm Leanne. And I'm Ryan and today's story is a new crime wave is sweeping the country in the form of wool and graffiti. Scientists have invented an invisibility cloak. We help them find it and the latest weather update. But first, if you think the world's getting more and more topsy-turvy, it turns out you're right. Builders in Germany have built an upside-down house which rests on its roof. Inside, there are beds screwed to the ceiling, upside-down wardrobes, an upside-down kitchen, and even an upturned bathroom. We cross now to our reporter, Ethan. Thanks, Leanne. We're here at the upside-down house with the owner of the upside-down house, upside-down Bob. What inspired you to build this upside-down house here? Um, I love being upside down. What's your favorite part of living in a house upside down with a roof glued to the wall? I mean, floor? Defying gravity. <laughs> are there any challenges with living in an upside down house? I think there are a few challenges. Everything's pretty wet. Okay. Um, well, thanks. Well, thanks for the, your time. Uh, back to you in the studio. Now for a story that is truly out of sight. Scientists in Europe have created an invisibility cloak which can hide objects by bending light waves. However, since inventing the invisibility cloak, scientists have been having trouble finding it. The inventor says as soon as we put it down somewhere, it just disappears. Hoping to see through the reasons behind the invisibility cloak, here is our reporter Ruby. Hello, I'm Ruby, and with me is Sophie, the scientist behind the invisibility cloak. So what made you want to invent the invisibility cloak? I want bad guys to not exist in the world anymore. Can you show me how it works? Okay. Oh no, where'd she go? Take it off! What do you hope the cloak will be used for? Hopefully it will be used for cops to creep up on bad guys and stop them from getting away. Well, that makes things very clear. Thanks for joining us. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Ruby. Next up, there's a new wave of graffiti crime is covering the country, thanks to an underground gang known as the Midnight Knitters. Without permission, these woolly criminals are covering tree branches and lampposts with jerseys and scarves in the dead of night. Police say we are sitting to their case, but there's no real pattern in the crimes. Exclusive interview. Thanks, Leanne. I'm Amelia, and joining me is a mem is a member of the Midnight Knitted Gang. Yo, yo, Amalia, and thanks for joining us. What led you into the dark world of, of knitted graffiti? Well, my grandma and mother teach me how to do knitting when I was younger and I thought of starting a gang with graffiti and knitting. Do you see yourself as a criminal? Why or why not? Yes, because one time I went into someone's house and stole all their wool. Apart from trees and lampposts, what else do you like to graffiti with your woolens? People and houses. Thanks for your time. Back to your graffiti time. Well, at least they'll be warm if they get caught and go to jail. Now let's have a look at the weather up and down the country with Sophie. What's in store? Thanks, Ryan. Let's take a look at tomorrow's weather. In Auckland, there'll be a mix of fair conditions and unfair conditions, but that's, those are the conditions, and you'll just have to accept them. There will be no weather at all for Hamilton. It's taking a short holiday, but it's expected to be back for the weekend. Wellington will have another capital day, with no wind at all, so keep calm and carry on. Christchurch will be cold and unfriendly until late morning. Then the sun will pop over for a visit. Everyone loves the sun. That's all from me. Now back to the news desk. Thanks, Sophie. Well, that's all we have time for. Hope you've enjoyed today's show. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you again next time. Until then, I'm Ryan. And I'm Leanne. For Wake Up New Zealand. Goodbye. Goodbye.